are back. We are back. For another episode of Super Chef Zoe. Another chef of Gojo City eating burgers. And whisking, and I eat burgers with my mommy okay, and daddy. Right. In the soccer uniform. And go to school eating burgers and learning about burgers. And eating burgers while we learn. Okay. Hello again. We are back for another Super Chef Dad Chronicle. Yeah, and I thought it would be nice, Zoe, for this episode if we use some of our family's recipes. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most touching part of the show, and you, you spit in my face. <laughs> for this, our first ever Thanksgiving extravaganza, I wanted to stick with tradition. Oh, thank you. That's a lot better than being spit on. I love my socks. I want to wear cleats. For this episode, we're going to stick with tradition. I'm going to be making my mom's recipe for cornbread stuffing and my grandma's recipe for candied sweet potatoes. They make me happy just cooking them. These, the, the mice are... <laughs> Get back, mouse! If we're going to cook, we, we're going to be very serious. Let's, go, let's put on a serious face. Ready? I don't think you have a serious face. Can you can you work on your serious face? You can't be a chef if you don't have a serious face. <laughs> Not proud of it. <laughs> okay, let's make some stuffing. Let's make this some is Grandma's stuffing. cornbread stuffing. So the first thing you need to make cornbread stuffing is <laughs> cornbread. So the first thing to make cornbread stuffing, we're gonna make our own cornbread. We're gonna make our own. We have here flour, <laughs> cornmeal, baking soda, a little salt. Let's whisk those together. What is so funny? What is so funny? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, that's it. Let me know when you're done. We have a lot more things to whisk, you know, it's a short show. Okay, okay, great. That was incredible whisking that you did there. In the other bowl, we have here dark brown sugar, granulated sugar, canola oil. Oh, let me get this one started. Three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Now, I went to the supermarket. They actually didn't have buttermilk in two different supermarkets here in Astoria, but in a pinch, you could use sour cream. Maybe a little more than a half cup of sour cream, and I thinned it out with water to get to three quarters of a cup of buttermilk substitute. But otherwise, three quarters of a cup well shaken buttermilk, two eggs. Can I help crack I'll, them? I'll do the egg cracking. I just want to try. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll start it. No. Now let's crack it into the bowl. Nope, nope. No. <laughs> that, my hand is not a napkin. <laughs> Okay. Yes. All right, you, you, I... hit the showers. Hit the showers. Good job. What position do you play on the soccer team? Uh, third grade. Batter goes into the pan, 400 degree oven, until the top is golden brown, and a toothpick or a cake tester comes out clean. Cut it into cubes, and you want to let it dry out, and even toast it a little bit in the oven before proceeding with the recipe. Very minor thing, but a key step in making the best stuff. Now, this is where I differ from, from Mama Gara, like, I'm trying to eat a little less meat, and we're having a big roast turkey with this anyway. So these are Beyond Meat Sausage Crumbles. Super delicious, great flavor, great texture. Get that all brown, we'll add celery and onions, let that soften up, and then we'll finish our stuffing. This is, is this your Thanksgiving outfit? Uh, well, it's not really Thanksgiving yet, but... Oh. Okay, all right, fair enough. Here you go, let me know what you think. Don't just eat the butter. Oh my God. All right, I think it's that time of the day, don't you? <sighs> Everything is better. <laughs> yes, can I help you? <laughs> so this was in the oven. <laughs> this was in the oven at uh, 250 degrees just until it, it's like kind of dried out to the... Okay, you want to help me with mixing? This is our sausage and veggies that we sauteed off. Two cups of breadcrumbs. Into this we'll add a cup and a half of stock. Alright, what we're looking for 
is a mixture that's, that's just moist enough to hold together. Okay, Grandma Ruth's sweet potatoes. I'm making two pounds of sweet potatoes, which is about three medium-sized sweet potatoes. I'll give you all the information in the description section. That is the box of text underneath the video with the little either carrot tab or the text that says show more. Click the button. I have lots of good stuff, lots of information for you there. If you haven't checked it out already, that's where you'll find all of the recipes. There's no need to press pause and squint and zoom in. All right, I wouldn't leave you hanging. Oh, I just love this song. Get it? Turkeys, cranberries? No? Daddy! Hold on, hold Daddy, on. Daddy, I okay, wanna now. fix my show or give me a box. I can't win. Alright, everybody, bath break. Everybody, take five for a bath. What's your favorite type of stuffing? Strawberry stuffing. You put strawberries in here and then you whisk it up and then it. Then you make the rest of the filling and then it's strawberry stuff. <laughs>